So red light therapy has a lot of amazing health benefits. And one of the mechanisms that's under study right now is it's used in combination with methylene blue to treat cancer. And this is called photodynamic therapy. So like some other substrates, methylene blue accumulates in cancer cells much more than in normal cells. And this has to do with the decreased ability of cancer cells to regulate uptake of several substrates, as well as their malfunctioning mitochondria, which may have changes in the permeability of their membranes. Now, in um, healthy cells, methylene blue is helping to optimize the electron transport chain and thereby uh, increasing the production of ATP. Uh, mitochondria and cancer cells are dysfunctional and they can only really ferment. This is a primitive form of energy production rather than use the more elaborate citric acid cycle in generating their energy. And when high levels of methylene blue are exposed to light in the correct wavelengths, and this is usually red light around 650 nanometers, then methylene blue can inhibit ATP levels that cancer cells produce by fermentation, stimulate oxygen consumption, disrupt glycolytic pathways, and even induce apoptotic cell death. Now, this is another good example why methylene blue is a hormetic drug. In small amounts in healthy cells, it is extremely beneficial, while in large accumulation in dysfunctional cells, it can trigger cell death. A molecule that acts similarly in such a scenario is vitamin C, where healthy cells will only take it up in levels needed as an antioxidant, while the cancer cells cannot regulate the uptake of vitamin C, so they get flooded with it. And in uh, higher amounts, it becomes a pro-oxidant and produces hydrogen peroxide, which cancer cells lack the enzyme for breaking down. Healthy cells also have this enzyme. So should they have higher levels of vitamin C um, and hydrogen peroxide is produced, they can break it down. But cancer cells cannot. Again, they, they lack the mechanism to control uptake and they lack the enzyme to break down the hydrogen peroxide. And this then also ultimately causes cell destruction. And it's a very selective process. Now, there are several preclinical studies showing that the combination of methylene blue and red light um, has the potential for being a very selective cancer treatment that is not harmful to healthy tissue. The limitation of this treatment is that red light only penetrates about 10 millimeter into tissue. But some studies have shown that near infrared light, which can penetrate significantly deeper, up to four inches into tissue and even pass through bone, can also activate methylene blue, showing promise in treating neurodegenerative disorders in the brain, for example. So it seems that the combination of methylene blue and red light therapy is extremely beneficial for healthy tissue and selectively targets pathological cells. And I'm looking forward to seeing more research on how this can be used as a preventive and treatment strategy going forward.